Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, so I hope the uh, connection will be good during my talk. So first of all, I would like to thank the uh, organizer for inviting me to give the lecture. Um, so I changed the uh, title of my lecture a little bit. So uh, now the, the title looks more dynamical. So towards the uh, characterization of picard fox equations. So that uh, reflects more precisely the content of my lecture. So in my lecture, so if you have any question, please stop me, then I can explain. So this is a report of my joint work with uh, Krishna Musi. Uh, this project uh, started uh, three years ago, basically. So when uh, he visited me, then we start to discuss these things. So, okay. So let me start with uh, uh, a very important example. This uh, the larger family of uh, elliptic curves. So, uh, and um, so for each T, uh, which is uh, uh, we consider T as a parameter uh, in P1, and when T is not equal to zero, one infinity, this defines an elliptic curve. And you know that you have a, a, a holo holomorphic one form. No, we're vanishing within this. And then, then uh, as hand, at the other hand, you have this topological cycle. So you have to take some cycle, uh, topological cycle on ET, and then you integrate along this. And this is, uh, you form, you get a period. So this is uh, very important information about this arithmetic and geometry of this ED curve. But it's very hard to compute. The good thing that is a B, this a period satisfy some a linear ODE. So this is so-called Picard-Fuchs equation. And you, you, you can ob obtain this equation by uh, continue, continuously de uh, de derivative this uh, form and uh, up to uh, some close exact, uh, exact form. And then you compute this. So you get this equation. Uh, and we know that this uh, uh, this uh, 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 this is a, a, a general phenomenon that this uh, pure integrals attached to uh, families of LV varieties satisfy Picard-Fuchs equations. So the question is uh, the following: So uh, is any uh, linear ODE Picard-Fuchs? So the answer. Is no, so uh, you will immediately realize that uh, this uh, uh, Picard-Fuchs equation uh, among the uh, uh, the class of all linear ODs with holomorphic coefficients are, are quite special. For example, uh, as uh, uh, in the uh, Professor Anos talk, so you will uh, his, she study uh, some of this uh, uh, with a uh, uh, quasi unipotency condition, and with already uh, with assumption this is a regular singularity. So I think my talk is good continuation of the talks. So, um, and you have also the in integrality of more geometries and have, have more, more some more uh, condition on this Picard folks. So now the question becomes uh, this, uh, 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 the, the, the central problem of my talk. So it's possible to characterize Picard folks among all linear ODEs, okay? So uh, then this is, uh, 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 two uh, well-known conjecture, at least uh, 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 in my field. So uh, this is a conjecture by uh, uh, Carl Simpson. He, he, called, he called this a standard conjecture. So he's, he consider uh, um, a smooth quasi-projective variety found of a Q-bar and a flat connection uh, over X with regular singularities. So if the attached uh, the lo uh, local system uh, is defined over Q bar, then uh, the conjecture is it is must be Picard Fuchs. Um, I don't know much of progress about this conjecture, but at least this is give a uh, uh, give a uh, uh, good uh, prediction uh, when this uh, two Q bar structure meets different Q as uh, in the uh, Ellen's talk. I think it's uh, already said that. 
uh, this is correspondence, Iman Hilbert correspondence is uh, um, complex nothing. So when these two cube, cube bar structure meets, then this is become Fox. This is a beautiful conjecture. And uh, he have another conjecture, so-called the motivity conjecture. Um, this is uh, already in the uh, Gershnik's talk. So, uh, so it follows. So if I have a smooth projective variety over C, um, then any rigid uh, integrable connection with torsion determinant of X is, is Picard-Fox. And a fantastic result, recent result, I think it's a, a published this year and appeared uh, three years ago in online, the due to a uh, non follows. So any rigid integrable connection with torsion determinant of X are globally nilpotent. So here global nilpotent means uh, uh, when, when you spread out this connection and the mod out modulo for uh, P, for almost OP, this is, uh, uh, is new, new, have a new potent P curvature. So, uh, so um, we have uh, some similar idea, but uh, since, uh, um, so yes, so uh, I, I would say this, our mu main new idea into this problem is try to study the dynamics of the reduction of V connection, V nabla, on this uh, twist of Frobenius action for almost all P's. So uh, let me uh, show. So let me put this uh, uh, um, more in, 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 a, in a proper framework. So now I fix uh, a curve. So uh, it's a smooth projective complex curve. So let me fix this. Now I can vary U. So U is an empty size open subset of C. So and I consider all possible uh, smooth project morphisms over U. So I just collect all such objects. So I call this uh, my uh, John mesh objects, which I, I want to study. And uh, now for each, each such F, you can attach this gauss menin system. So this uh, HI delam X over U, this is uh, a gauss menin bundle. So it's a, uh, uh, it's a bundle over U and over it, you have this uh, uh, um, a connection, this gauss menin connection, and you have the Hodge filtration. Um, okay, so this is a satisfy and this this some uh, compatibility to call this uh, uh, Griffith transversality. Okay, so now um, now I'll put this uh, 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 I put this uh, uh, into a, a abstract notion. So. I call I call a Dirac bundle over U is a is a is a, tri is a triple which is a, a consists of a, a vec bundle over U and a, a flat connection which is a, well okay so everything is algebraic already so oh here's a typo is is it should be V goes to V uh, times omega U and the field is some uh, finite decreasing uh, exhaustive filtration of sub bundles of V. Uh, satisfying the Griffith transversality. So this is a purely linear algebraic uh, data. So now the problem becomes as follows. So now uh, the left-hand side of uh, uh, this uh, uh, bracket here is this, this guy is a geometric object. And by this uh, slew, this gauss menin system, you will land in this, uh, uh, this category of this linear algebra object, which is the bundle. So the problem is try to categorize the image of the, uh, this map. Uh, via uh, this map. So that's a problem. And uh, I will now say this, uh, this problem uh, have a relation with uh, my original problem. So this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, pick up folks. So uh, let, let me start with uh, the, the classic work of Delin. So uh, in, the, in his Liman Hilbert correspondence, uh, he showed this. So any linear ODE with regular singularity is algebraic. So, so we, are, we can start with this uh, algebraic bundle with algebraic connection of U. And uh, then by, uh, then uh, I.R. Simpson uh, uh, refined this, this ex extension somehow. Uh, he, he, so add this parabola structure on this, uh, uh, on this extension. So this, under this condition. So if the local monodromies are quasi unipotent, then this, uh, this uh, uh, flat connection at the meets so-called canonic, canonical parallel extension over C. 
So you add a power shell on it, on this uh, Deline six canon extension. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, justify, uh, well, this, uh, so when you uh, compatify it, so, so you, you can uh, uh, define some uh, uh, using this, uh, 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 define some semi-stable uh, filtration all over this V bar. I can no longer hear you. No, we, we lost your audio. Oh, did you switch off your your microphone? Can you check that? I just okay. Uh -huh. Okay, can you repeat what you just said? Uh, yes. So um slides you see I inter I studied this uh, uh V nabla and the filtration. So this is a triple. In the original problem, we study only V nabla. So in this here, I remark that it is quite natural to, to add some filtration on it. But in order to add this filtration on it, you need to first uh, compatify it. So you need to, to do this, uh, ex extend this V nabla over U to uh, do some uh, parabolic bundle over C. Then you can uh, uh, use this uh, uh, Simpson's formula to, to introduce this uh, Simpson filtration on V bar and restricting back to this U. And this is uh, uh, when, this, uh, when this connection is irreducible and it is Picard focus, then this is, uh, this is a whole filtration up to shift of indexes. So this is what I want to say. Okay, it's okay? Good. Yes. So now, um, yeah. yes, okay. Now, um, let me move the uh, second part. So, uh, so I study, so now I let, so I fix this uh, U, you see the U is a smooth complex curve with complexification C. So now I take some D inside U, which is uh, some uh, reduced effective divisor. And I, I form this log pair, okay? And I study this, uh, uh, this uh, quadruple. So this is a V, V alpha, nabla field. So VV alpha means a parabolic bundle OU with, uh, uh, with the support of a parallel structure uh, containing D. And uh, uh, this uh, connection, it have a local pole around D, okay? And the filtration is just uh, uh, this, uh, uh, um, this uh, uh, the, the filtration that the previous I introduced. Uh, but uh, um, yes, so um, yeah, so this make this the V nabla few, so forget the parable structure, this makes the logarithmic jump bound over U log. And, uh, uh, and we introduce simultaneously the notion of parabolic grid Higgs bundle. And this is uh, the, another player of this, uh, uh, of, of this talk. So, uh, so you have this uh, triple. So you have an E, E alpha, theta. So E alpha is, so E is graded. So it's basically, uh, it's, so yeah, so it's, uh, it's graded, E alpha is graded and it satisfies this compatibility. So E i alpha equal to E i, e I in the stack with E alpha. And uh, uh, this, this, this Higgs field, uh, which appears uh, in, the, uh, in the Gershon next talk. So um, yeah, here's a log pole uh, and well, yes, uh, uh, it's Higgs field. Uh, and it's very simple lemma is that this, uh, uh, the grading uh, of this uh, uh, parabolic uh, down bundle uh, respect this filtration, you 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 will uh, let, you will get this a uh, uh, graded uh, parabolic Higgs bundle. So this is uh, so this uh, uh, very so that you have a grading functor. Very simple, and then we have uh, two uh, uh, technical lemma. So one is the extension lemma. So this is a refined version of this uh, I. R. Simpson's result. So uh, uh, so you see it's a projective curve and U, U is a, a open subset and that takes C log is a C with a, this complement of U. Then the link extension induce equivalence categories. So the left hand side uh, is uh, uh, the Dylan bundle with rational singularity along D and uh, uh, ra um, rational residue over uh, along D. 
So rational residue means uh, this uh, uh, the uh, uh, eigenvalue of this uh, uh, of the residue that is uh, uh, loose of unity. So this also appears. I mean, this topology is just quasi unipotent. But here's yeah. So here's this uh, left hand side, and the B prime is uh, uh, is uh, so called. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Mao, you don't mean roots of unity, yeah. you are in Q. Yeah, this is in Q. I rational, mean, so here is a called rational residue. Yeah, but uh, this means the residues are not roots of unity, they are in Q. And then the local monodromy is, uh, is the eigenvalues of the- Oh, local. right, right. Yeah, yes, 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 you have a, exp yeah, yeah, exactly. okay. it's perfectly, you are okay. right. It okay. is residue, thank you. So it's, uh, you have exponential two pi i q, so yes, you are right. So that's, uh, uh, I'm sorry, you are right. <laughs> no, you you have exponential. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, corresponding to this data, you have uh, uh, so the next tensions just give a way for us to compatify it. So now you have uh, um, you 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 get some special parabolic bundle. Here's a, a here's a condition adjusted condition. This is introduced by I. Simpson. So here the extension lemma just only says I added this filtration on it. So this is really kind of a, a obvious generalization of their result. Uh, just you know, fit, fit into our framework. And now uh, uh, one more technical thing is to do is uh, in CARC P, which is a preparation for uh, my uh, later consideration. So I call this is a Biswas I. Simpson correspondence for lambda connection in Carx P. So, um, so you notice that this uh, parabolic thing is really defined a very in, over general for general basis. So uh, here I study uh, in, in following setting. So I fix some uh, uh, algebraic closed uh, Carx P uh, field of Carx P, and I choose some uh, uh, integer which is uh, positive and uh, less than a P. And u, u is uh, again some, some curve over now you have over k, and the pi is some cyclic cover of odd n with uh, uh, ramification along in, in, in D. So, um, so now the, uh, the parabolic push forward uh, and the parabolic pullback uh, as defined in, the, um, in their work. So, um, so uh, this was just give a, a formula on this uh, uh, parabolic push forward. So it's kind of generalizations of uh, um, uh, Gao descent. So um, it's twisted version. And you have this pullback. And uh, yes, so you can define it. Um, and uh, in this, this two, two operation induce equivalent categories. So uh, between this category of G equivalent lambda connection with new potent residues along this uh, uh, the upstairs, and this category of adjusted parabolic lambda connection of downstairs, with with conditions of parabolic structures fall along the and parabolic weights in this in this range. So this this give me a way uh, to to just uh, to to this is a reduction step. So I take some cyclic cover to cue this uh, parabolic structure. Okay, this is uh, I need to do this in the Kx P. So th that's a technical uh, uh, thing. Okay, after this preparation. Now I introduce this uh, uh, one notion of key notions in the talk. So this is motivic. So this motivic parabolic Dirac bundle is uh, uh, is just modeled after this uh, Gaussian uh, system. So I call adjusted parabolic Dirac bundle over U log is uh, uh, motivic if over the net point is isomorphic to a subsystem of a uh, uh, Gauss's Gauss mini system um, attached to some uh, smooth projective family. So, um, so this is so this is uh, uh, a motivic uh, parabolic uh, Dirac bundle. So you define the uh, a parabolic a motivic parabolic Higgs bundle just by the associate grading of a motivic parabolic Dirac bundle. Um, then I define a motivic Dirac bundle. Or the motivic Higgs bundle over U to be a motivic parabolic Dirac bundle over U log 
where I, I, I require B to be empty, okay? Empty, so D is empty. So this is just, uh, uh, I call this a motivic down bundle. Okay, uh, the second notion, which is, uh, uh, We lost you, Mao. Can we, we you can't hear, hear me? you anymore? Yeah, we lost you. Can you can you hear us? So you are frozen. Can you Absolutely. hear us? Yeah. Hmm. Mao, can you can you see us? Okay, now we can hear you. Can you repeat what you just said? Uh, nobody could uh, could hear you. Oh, so I, yeah, I, I think the, 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 the connection, I, I, you know, daytime is really good, but this strangely when the, when the evening is, becomes worse. So I don't know. So is the connection smooth now? No, now it came back, yeah. So we had a blank period. So maybe you repeat the last sentence you said, because- uh, uh, can... Maybe this page? Uh, you were just about defining a motivic Durham bundle by uh, dropping the, uh, removing the log, con the log uh, conditions here. And after that, we lost you. Yes, yes. So okay, yes, so, here. yes, so the, uh, yes, so the motivic, so I define the motivic, uh, uh, yes, so I define this motivic object uh, with, in, in this story. Then the second thing I, I define a, a, a purely algebraic no, uh, uh, object, the notion. So I, I introduce you the uh, periodic uh, parabolic down bundle. So, uh, uh, so I, I just so I start again with uh, just the parabolic down bundle over U log, and this is defined over C. So this is U log is a, a so it's just a smooth log curve on on on, the, on over C. And the code is as periodic. So if we spread out the data to uh, an arithmetic, mo arithmetic model uh, defined over some uh, integral scheme S or fan type of that, um, we, when it was spread out, then uh, if we find some uh, uh, R and find some, uh, uh, you'll get some uh, bad, a fi with a better set of primes, with, which is have fan image uh, over spec over Z, such that away, so the reduction of this uh, spread out away from this Z uh, at, at this each geometry point of this uh, on this uh, uh, complement is periodic uh, respect to any uh, W2 lifting inside this S. And and of period period of f uh, r so so here's a condition. Uh, let me emphasize once again. So you need uh, some uh, uh, r, which is a fixed uh, number, uh, integer, positive integer, and you have some uh, a bad local z, which is finite image in the spec z. And you need to the reduction at uh, each uh, geometric point, each geometric close point uh, on this complement is periodic, uh, of period r. Respect to any lifting. So uh, this is a class P condition, which I'll explain later. So, um, so an immediate uh, uh, explanation is that this is uh, uh, this notion is independent of which which uh, uh, which spread out you take. So now it's, this is uh, uh, so unfortunately I use the uh, you log again. Now I I, I say okay. So I've, I I don't change nothing, but this, I say here is a log curve over FP bar. Then I explain you this uh, uh, periodic. So uh, yes, so because the, re the reduction Vs here is really defined uh, some uh, uh, log curve over, over FP bar, right? So now uh, you also fix uh, some W2 FP bar lifting of this uh, uh, log curve over, over carries P. You need to fix it, uh, such a lifting. Then a periodic down hex flow over this U log is uh, encoded in, encode this in this diagram. So remember we start with, uh, so we have a, 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 a 
a parabola bundle, right? So you have a V zero number zero and uh, equipped with this uh, filtration. When you take grading, by the, by the lemma I said before, so you will land with, with some grade, grade the parabolic bundle. And now you, you have this uh, parabolic version of this uh, August Vorgoski Cartier transform. So, uh, so then you will, you will end up with, uh, you will, you, you will you'll get uh, uh, a new, perhaps new, I mean, uh, uh, some, some, uh, para, uh, some uh, um, parabolic flag connection. And you choose some uh, filtration, some uh, comparable filtration, and take grading again. And after repeat this process, and you will find you, if you have at some step, uh, we will come back. You will get isomorphisms to uh, iso the original uh, uh, flat bundle. So here's the isomorphism is really isomorphism of uh, a parabolic flat bundle. Uh, so this is a Poseidon. So this is a data. So the input data is uh, the initial data V zero, V alpha zero, nabra zero, field zero. This, this slope, so it's all new data. Uh, Mao, it seems you we lost you again. Uh, hello. And so, on this. Uh, uh, we just lost you for about uh, half a minute. So you have to repeat. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, uh, so let me let me. Uh, so yes. So you 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 see this diagram. You see this diagram, and uh, uh, I explain you this uh, diagram is uh, really. Uh, Contains uh, uh, the data for periodic down Higgs flow, and uh, uh, now, so we call a uh, parabolic down bundle uh, over uh, over U log is uh, uh, periodic if it initializes uh, some a uh, periodic down Higgs flow. So you just so you see, uh, I just uh, I just take this leading term I, and uh, offer some uh, periodic down Higgs flow. So okay, okay, that's uh, the uh, I define the periodic. Uh, in character p, so and this these two slides combined together uh, give me the uh, uh, definition of the periodic uh, parabolic down bundle over 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 complex the uh, the field of complex numbers. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, so uh, and the main result um, of the work is uh, that's the periodic theorem. The statement is like this. So if let me let, let u to be a, a smooth complex curve, and then any motivic down bound over u is periodic. Any 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 motivic down bound over u is periodic. So the motivic down bound is uh, just this one. So let, 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 let us see it again. So it's here. So motivic down bound is uh, just the motivic down bound without log pool, and uh, and this means it's just uh, over some. Over some uh, uh, perhaps smaller open subset is a direct factor of the uh, Gaussian linear system. Then the statement says this is periodic in this sense. So satisfy all condition. So there's a condition in this uh, in this slide. So this is periodic. Okay. So um, yes. So uh. Let me sketch the proof. Uh, the proof is, uh, the first step is uh, to use the extension lemma to compatify. Just, uh, just uh, basically this, uh, uh, the link extension give you compatification, but in the, I use uh, the I Simpson's uh, uh, refinement, use the parabolic. And I, I just, and I, I also extend this filtration. So this is the first step. And once you get a compatif get, get this uh, compatification, then you use, uh, use uh, some global method. So the second step is uh, really um, uh, have uh, uh, ingredients coming from a uh, uh, complex different geometry. So it, it says that these uh, parabolic Cosmonian systems and this associate parabolic correspondence system are, are uh, semi-simple. So here basically I need to use this uh, uh, Hodge metric as a, uh, as, as a, uh, 
as a, a tame harmonic metric on this, uh, uh, on this uh, open part. And uh, uh, then this, this, uh, this uh, basically a kind of, uh, um, this give you decomposition. Uh, this is uh, semi-simplicity. And then, then I, I show uh, a Kax P statement. So, so here in this, here if here we need to things like follows. So if this, if this have a, a trivial parabola structure, then this is basically uh, uh, this is uh, um, the the relative Frobenius give you this one periodicity at Kax P. But if if not, then you need to first do this uh, uh, semi stable reduction and and then descend back. So yes, so this is uh, here. Then in this step, you need to use this uh, uh, um, this uh, base correspondence in Kax P. Um, and the the fourth step is a uh, 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 a periodic semi simple theorem. So this is a categorical. So I show we show that the direct factor of a, a semi simple period ob periodic periodic object is again periodic. And then the last step is uh, just uh, restrict this uh, restrict this periodicity over this uh, uh, over this projective curve back to this u. So that, that's a uh, that's a proof. Okay. Now um, now then I come come to this uh, uh, conjecture. So I call it periodic conjecture. So the conjecture is very simple. I just I just, uh, this is very, I think it's a, it's a simple form formulate. So it's a, U is a smooth compact curve. Then, then the conjecture is any periodic down bundle over U is motivic. And you have the Higgs version. In the Higgs version, I need, I formulate for this projective curve. In, in the down version, I, I, I uh, formulate over U. So uh, there's some difference. Um, and this uh, have uh, some overlap, just this, uh, um, how to say it? Uh, the, the, basically, this periodic Higgs conjecture is stronger, but uh, um, uh, but it cannot fully imply this uh, periodic arm conjecture. Yes, um, both conjectures are meaningful, I think. So the second conjecture can imply the following two sub conjecture. The periodic Higgs conjecture can imply an arithmetic Simpson correspondence. So uh, that's the follows. So the grading functor, which I, I said before, uh, induce equivalent category um, between the category of periodic parabola, periodic parabolic down bundles over C and the category, category of periodic parabolic X bundle over C. And you can show this category, the two categories are actually Katanakian. And uh, the second sub conjecture is uh, semi-simplistic conjecture. So this is also a consequence of this uh, periodic Higgs conjecture. So say C is, a, as before, is a projective, smooth projective. Then any periodic parabolic down bundle or Higgs bundle over C is semi-simple. Um, yes, so this is a purely, you see, this is a, a purely puri, linear algebraic. So you have a, a, a parabolic down bundle or Higgs bundle and use this uh, periodic condition. And uh, then you some some conjectures, but this is a, uh, Semi simple. So let me uh, show you some evidence, but not not so much evidence. I'm sorry, um, but I still uh, think it's uh, interesting. So uh, so first of all, rank one is okay. The rank one is really is some uh, some big result. So for the down for the down version, so periodic down bundle. Ah, we just lost you. Yeah, we lost you. Can you hear us? Uh, hello. Hello, Mao. Hello. Can you is periodic if only if it is torsion. Ma, Ma we, we and, lost you for about uh, 15 seconds. Lost me again. Okay. So, okay. We lost you again. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you, but just uh, delayed. So uh, I just. Um... Okay. Okay. 
So is you it, can uh, hear me again, right? So you should start with sketch of proof here because uh, this is yes, where okay. we okay. Okay. Yes, I, I, uh, yes, okay. Uh, here's a sketch proof. I, I, I didn't uh, say any words about this. Oh, sorry, I say something close on the cut. So the, actually, so the difficult direction is really uh, the, the, uh, the, the direction periodic implies tor torsion. So the, the logic is like this. So periodicity imply global nilpotent peak curvature. And uh, since it's rank one, so it implies globally vanishing peak curvature. And then the solution of Grundy cut P curvature for rank one concludes the proof. So, so if, without the Grundy cut, so you, you, I, I, so you can you won't get this this uh, conclusion. And uh, uh, here's also the result. Uh, here's also the statement for the periodic uh, the Higgs version. So here's also here's also classification. So rank one par parabolic Higgs bundle. Um, over C is periodic if only if uh, its parabolic pullback becomes trivial under some cyclic co cover, whose branch device contains the support of parabolic structure of alpha, L alpha. So it's a little bit complicated, but basically it's also all kind of some torsion statement. Um, and here we we need, we need to use the result of pink, and also a special a specialization result of a master. So. So the pink result is really essential here. So pink have a result about this uh, BM torsion ca characterization of torsion point of this uh, BM variety over C. Yes, so it fits this framework very well. Uh, yes, then uh, then I say this say some words. This this slide uh, is a little bit arithmetic. So uh, let, let me let me come back to a deep curve I started with. So suppose we have a deep curve over C. Then I then this statement says this, these two properties are equivalent. The first one is purely arithmetic. So a spread out of the deep curve admits infinitely many super singular primes. And the second problem is purely Hodge theoretical. The second problem says that the periodic Higgs bond over E, so any periodic Higgs bond over E must be a direct sum of torsion, is a, sorry, is a direct sum of torsion line bundles. So by the previous result, we know direct sum of torsion line bundles indeed periodic. But the second problem says, okay, so that's all periodic object, here hex, hex object of E. So this statement says these two properties are equivalent. So one implies two, two implies one. And uh, the known result for one is follows. So uh, if this uh, defined field of the curve is transcendental. Then probably the one holds automatically, basically because you have a p minus one super singular j invariant, and it grows when p grows. Um, and the second, second thing is the difficult part is really when, when this uh, is defined over number field, and then this is comes the Elkis result. So, so here's the uh, one version of this result. So if k uh, the degree of k is uh, odd. Then this elliptic curve have also have also infinite many super single primes. Unfortunately, this is not known for arbitrary k. So when k is even. And also the second remark is that although there's a many infinite many super single primes, but there's so, not so many when this e is a uh, uh, non CM. So uh, this is uh, um, also a crucial remark for um, this uh, uh, have a link with uh, the periodicity. So you, you notice that I define the periodicity is really for almost away from uh, finite many primes. So yeah, that's, uh, the, that's the Z, the better set of primes, Z there. So this is, uh, um, this is really have a close link with that. So I, I won't define it for, uh, for Dirichlet Dirich like, uh, periodicity over uh, Dirichlet Dirich density one primes. I definitely I should define it as uh, away from finite prime. And this semi-simplistic conjecture uh, here, so this semi-simplistic conjecture here, so any uh, periodic uh, parabolic bundle over C is semi-simple. So I, I just study a uh, trivial parabolic structure. So,
we lost you. Mo? Mo, we lost you again. To decompose into rank, rank one. Oh. Yes. No, so no. when it's rank one and it's periodic, it must be torsion. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I came back. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. So, uh, yes. So here I, yes. So um, when this, uh, uh, so it's, uh, yes, I, I combine with this, this uh, classification rank one. So it must be torsion. So it's a drunk sum of uh, torsion line bundles. So uh, this is give also kind of uh, evidence uh, of, of this uh, uh, conjecture. So now, uh, yes. So uh, one more conjecture, which is I like very much, which is uh, related to the uh, um, Eno uh, Gershnik's work. Um, and uh, it's, it follows. This is, uh, uh, comes from the Katz uh, work on the rigid local system. So let me formulate this uh, in this way. So uh, let, let us fix some, uh, a, a bunch of punctures, D. And we study uh, uh, algebraic connection over complement. And we need to fix a set of Yoda normal forms uh, um, over each puncture. So um, we call uh, an algebraic connection um, double, uh, W, um, is uh, twist isomorphic to V, nabla, if, if you have some rank one connection over the commodification C, such that this is a uh, double isomorphic V uh, tends to this as L, oh, restrict U. And we denote by this uh, equivalence. So, um, and, and this we form the twist the Dirac moduli. So it's just a, a V nabla, we fix rank, we fix the residue, and the mod, mod out these twisted isomorphisms. And this is, a, a, the notion is really a, a Dilam, Dilam, a Dilam translation of this, uh, uh, of uh, uh, the notion of uh, weakly physically semi-rigid local system of cuts. So we call an algebraic connection over U to be weakly physically semi-rigid of type J if the corresponding twisted Dilam model space consists of finite many points. So then via, uh, uh, via this uh, Riemann-Hilbert, this is this two notion that corresponds. Now, the proposition is as follows. So, uh, so let's uh, fix uh, Ji to be a set of Yodan normal forms whose eigenvalues are roots of unity. So it's just this kind of rationality. And let the V nabla to be a irreducible uh, weakly physically semi rigid connection of type J and torsion determinant over U. So you have a torsion determinant, this condition, torsion determinant over U. Then you have a statement one. So the Dilam bundle V nabla uh, FS. So, so FS is, uh, is the, this filtration I. This is the Simpson filtration I introduced at the beginning of the talk. I think I should write few S. So here, I, sorry, I said write FS. But this really means that filtration. Uh, this is uh, 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 periodic. And then the furthermore, this is motif motivic. But this, you see, the two implies one. So, but I, we, we give a proof without two, uh, without two. Uh, so, yes. So, uh, yes. So, the two is really use uh, 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 cuts as a classification. Yes, the two implies one, but we we provi provide an app proof. Uh, just just uh, use 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 uh, uh, this proof is uh, uh, is uh, motivated by the um, uh, this Eno uh, Gershnik's work. So um, yes, so this is give uh, uh, also a give uh, evidence if if you want to say this evidence. Okay, then uh, for the, the remaining time, I say some applications.
Mao, we lost you again. Hello, can you hear me? These are three, three groups, you have two latest. Mao, we lost you for another half a minute out there, so you have to backtrack. <laughs> okay, so maybe I, I uh, maybe he's here? Yes. Yeah, no, it's, so I it's think... uh, just, no, no, this we had already. You go down to your uh, rank two representations here. Yeah, thank you. So yes, so the rank two representation, so I take the rank two uh, representation uh, by the uniformization. So now this representation is really depends on the lambda. The point is how to see the, the de dependence. This is really complicated. So, um, and I, I, here I, I introduce a notion without uh, 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 clear reference. So I call some, uh, so I, I call some Bovius algebra numbers. So this, uh, so this algebra numbers is really a list of 17 numbers, which is uh, um, basically make this P1 without four, these four points is a, a modular curve. You can explicit it right down. And I call this Bovius algebra now because I, uh, I, so he give a, a beautiful paper on this uh, classification of uh, uh, this semi-stable uh, semi elliptic curve, family of elliptic curves of P1 with uh, uh, four single fibers. Then the point is uh, uh, try to give a characterization of this uh, lambda, this lambdas. So uh, I get some, uh, some characterization. It's not so great, but uh, uh, it's all, it's uh, uh, it's kind of characterization. So I say this is if this seventy numbers, if only if the following condition holds. So the first condition is that the low lambda um, is a fact through some uh, uh, SL to OF. OF is uh, uh, some total real number subfield F. And this is uh, uh, low lambda. Consider as a Q VHS, a Q, a Q global system is VHS, and the the, the last condition is uh, uh, so uh, you so for some this at some point this multiplication so you have a, because this is an OF local system so you have a multiplication by OF so I require this is a Hodge at one point then then this uh, uh, and then they claim this is a uh, this equivalent okay. So the new thing is uh, uh, you, you can uh, uh, show it's impossible. I mean, this is for any F, so it has to be this list. And uh, uh, also one thing is about this, uh, um, uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, it's a very, uh, it's a, a numerical. So it's about this uh, uh, Dirichlet form mass formula. So we, um, so it's follows. So this is about Schmark curve. And uh, um, and this is uh, uh, so. So you start with some uh, uh, Cartanian algebra over total real real field F, and uh, uh, yeah. So we we since I'm talking about curve, you know. So so I just uh, require this uh, uh, split and one place, and you you get this uh, Shimura uh, uh, datum, and the, and uh, um, using Keaton's work. Uh, you also get the integral model together with a family, uh, universal family of Abelian scheme. And then it's, it's meaningful to study this uh, reduction at P, at a, a good P. And then the, 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 uh, the formula is that this is exactly two Newton strata in the, in the, F, uh, in the, in the locus. And uh, the Newton jumping locus is independent of your representation. Your, your simplex representation. And you have a clean formula of this locus. So it looks uh, like one minus Q, uh, this uh, uh, topological characteristic of this uh, M divided by two. So this is uh, uh, really in, in, in the uh, very good energy with this uh, Doring uh, actual mass formula. Uh, this is a kind of stacky counting you will see this uh, formula uh, for the case of super singular curve. So, um, so my, my last uh, uh, thing is uh, uh, come back to uh, this uh, uh, Dlin's uh, result. 
Um, so Dling, uh, in his Hodge two paper and in the finance paper, you, uh, you have this uh, this uh, result. So. Um, Yes, so um, I guess there's some delay happen, happen there. So yes, so you have some smooth projective uh, morphisms. I mean, this is a family. I mean, the, then this uh, local system, you have uh, this decomposition. And the point is that uh, you, you have, uh, um, so this is completely reducible. And uh, you, you, you can write in this form, VI and the WI, VI is, uh, uh, underlying some uh, CVHS structure and the WI is a constant uh, CVHS structure, the CCH, the common host structure. And this equality is a equality of a CVHS. Then we can provide kind of a, a, a arithmetic version of this. So, uh, so if F is just like above and you spread out F and then uh, over, uh, over uh, 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 um, this uh, complement, so away from these bad primes, and you you uh, you 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 take uh, any uh, close point and it and any uh, W lifting of this S inside this scheme S, and the take completion. So you, you you get a family, local family, and you have uh, this uh, uh, similar decomposition. Um, and here now uh, you need to uh, raise the coefficient to from ZP to ZPR. Uh, and uh, uh, this, yeah, this is uh, uh, analog to the C, maybe this is EPR, and you get decomposition. And now the each VI here is a uh, uh, is a uh, 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 crystalline ZP ZPR sheave, and WI is a crystalline ZPR representation of this uh, 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 the ga local Galois group. And this equality is the equality of crystalline ZPR sheaves. And this, uh, uh, this VI, the, the, this VI and WI have the same rank as, as this uh, VI, WI. And N is, uh, the, this, this N is coincides with N. Okay, then uh, also you have some bound on the period in terms of the, oh, here maybe I, 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 I here I, I forget some, some, uh, some degree here. So maybe uh, here's R, RI. So I, I, I'm here forget the, the I and the superscript here I. So, uh, so this is uh, an analog, an asymmetric version of the uh, semi simplicity theorem. I, I'm sorry, so, uh, is it not in the miniature yes. here in your formula? It's really yes, uh, this formula. here as you wrote, or? Uh, is it this formula? So I forget the I above. You want to see this page or the, the, the second page, last page? So this, you have this. Yes. And then uh, we have this. Ton micro est coupé, Eden. You don't need to invert P here in the decomposition? No. No? No. Okay. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I uh I think this is the last page of my my talk. I think it goes really fast. So <laughs> so I stop here. Thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. So we can uh, upload you or put little decoration here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Mao. Uh, thank you very much, Mao. Thank you.